when you're expecting your second or third or fourth or fifth or even more babies, chances are you're not just looking for a newborn photographer who will take photographs of your new baby, but you want to make sure that your older children can be included in the shoot too. After all, a photograph of all of your children together is probably going to be one of the most precious things you have from the photo shoot. Now what you'll probably find is that every photographer has a different approach to including family and siblings in their shoot. Some include it as standard, for others it's something that you might need to pay an extra charge for, and for some others they will only photograph your baby and they don't include family or sibling shots. So in this video I'm going to talk specifically about the service that I offer. I include family and sibling photographs as standard in all of my newborn photo shoots, so you don't need to pay anything extra to have those photographs taken. But what I will explain in the video is the timings that are involved in a photo shoot and why I recommend that you only bring your older children along for part of the shoot. Now during a newborn photo shoot we'll typically spend somewhere between three and four hours together. Not all of that time is spent taking photos. The majority of it will actually be spent settling your baby into each of the poses, giving your baby time for feeds, for cuddles, for winding, whatever it is they need. But at some point, either at the beginning or the end of the photo shoot, we'll spend between 20 and 30 minutes taking family and sibling photographs. Now, because we're only spending 20 to 30 minutes on those photographs, I don't recommend that you bring your older children to all of the shoot. If your children are anything like mine, three to four hours in a small, very warm space is not something that they're going to enjoy, no matter how many games, snacks or drinks that you bring. What we want when we take their photographs, whether it's at the beginning or the end of the shoot, is for them to be fresh, excited and energetic about what they're doing. And if they've spent a lot of time sitting around before or after, they're probably not going to feel that way. So what most families that I work with choose to do is that one parent will either bring their older children along at the end of the shoot and do an activity with them at home or elsewhere beforehand, or they'll bring them along to the start of the shoot, we'll do the family and sibling photos first, and then Either the, the other parent or a family member will take the other children off to do something else. Sometimes if they're school or nursery age, it will just be a case of dropping them off at nursery or school. But if they are spending the day at home, then you might like to go and do an activity with them or just head home in time for a nap or snack time or whatever you would normally do in the routine of your day. If it's quite far to travel home, then you may like to do something close to the studio and I can send you a list of activities, cafes, playgrounds, soft plays that are close by so that you can plan what to do with your older children whilst your newborn baby is being photographed. So if you're planning a newborn photo shoot when your baby arrives and you do have older children, we can include them in the shoot absolutely free of charge. I hope this video has helped to explain why it's a good idea to only bring your older children along for part of the shoot if you possibly can. And if you've got any other questions about having your children, your baby or your family photographed, do let me know. You can send me a message via my website. You can leave me a message in the comments below this video. And either way, I'd love to hear from you and I will get back to you.